how do I like Final Fantasy IX so far? Let's let's talk about that because I get asked this so much every uh, every stream, and so we might as well just take a moment and talk about it, right? Um, I want to say like the first thing. Can you guess the the like the number one thing that has stuck out to me about this game? And it, it might it might kind of be surprising, especially if you were here for my Rebirth playthrough. This might be kind of like surprising to you, but I talked about this a lot in Rebirth. But there's there's one thing, the music, the, vi the soundtrack. Chad is right there with me. This has maybe the best soundtrack to me. It's too early to tell, right? If it's truly the best. But so far, it's exceeded my expectations. I think it's above average, even for Final Fantasy. And I think this might be my favorite soundtrack of like the golden era Final Fantasy games. Now, I say that as somebody that loves the soundtrack of seven and 10 i really enjoy 10 but 9 has consistently surprised me with the quality of its soundtrack it's something that i absolutely uh i i have to say up front like how impressive it's been um also uh something else that really stands out to me about this game is uh the main character um at least the 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 main guy character right Zidane right he stands out to me a lot because he has such a different personality from other main characters in Final Fantasy that I've gotten to play with like he's a lot different than Cloud I've spent a little bit of time with eight he's very different than Squall uh obviously he's different than Titus he's probably closer to Titus than the others but he's just 100 percent a fuck boy 100% a fuckboy. Extremely extroverted. Uh, always hitting on Garnet. He's kind of like, he's very rough around the, the edges. But I really like his character because he's so different. And because he, he gives a lot to the player in terms of personality. He gives you a lot of personality. So there's constantly things to talk about with this character. He's constantly saying lines that like catch me off guard because he's so like he's so blunt and sometimes he's just so fucking rude and uh watching him try to impress garnet and i'm hoping that there's like a really interesting arc there for him where maybe he he gets that character development yeah koopa i'm hoping he gets that character development that kind of takes him from like this shallow fuck boy thief takes him from that to um you know something with more depth the character with more depth uh that actually does really care about something right now he has a very it is what it is kind of personality like even when people are getting murdered around him he's like damn that's war though you know ah it is what it is that's really his personality when it comes to like even when things get very serious in the game he i don't really think i've seen him really lose his cool yet and i'm wondering if he does in the game uh, but yeah, I just I, re I really like his character. I really think he's interesting. He manages to stand out even though he's in a game that has a really strong party because I really like Garnet. And now if you, if you watched me in seven, you know, Aerith was my favorite character. If you watch me with 10, you know, Yuna was my favorite character. This is the first time that a, a guy has kind of been my favorite. Like I've really liked Zidane just because I think that they they made him interesting. But I really like Garnet as well. I think she's also really well written. And I also really like Vivi, even though I don't understand Vivi yet. Like they say that Vivi appears to be nine, uh, nine years old, but maybe Vivi's not, you know, maybe Vivi's secretly like a thousand year old, extremely powerful mage. You know, uh, Vivi's also, you know, portrayed as very weak and very insecure and afraid and childlike but there's hints there that this character <clears throat> that this character might have crazy power like this character might be insanely op and the character kind of is especially in the early game vivi's extremely op in the first hours of the game and so i, I wonder if that all kind of plays into whatever character arc or whatever reveals are going to be there for vivi uh but you know and then you've got steiner right who's the the knight that wants to protect the princess and he's you know very uh thoughtless when it comes to having his own thoughts he's like used to taking orders and he only 
he's like hyper focused on whatever his mission is supposed to be or whatever his order is from the queen uh and watching him kind of open up mentally and like you know go from like this unquestioning non-questioning servant to somebody that starts to think for themselves and like question like you know, you know, is is the leadership above me, the royal family, the queen, could they possibly be evil? So watching him like start to question stuff like that is really interesting. So I think there's a lot of things going on at play with this game in the party and with the characters, with the dialogue that keep the game like really, really interesting. I feel like I've had a lot to react to when I've been playing this game. And obviously that's great for me as a streamer, right? Um, I just recently, like in the last stream, met Kuja, who I think is the main antagonist. Kind of gives off these effeminate Seymour vibes. I don't really know yet how I feel about this character because I haven't seen enough of him. The battle system, I, 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 this is my least favorite battle system, but the reason for that is because of how queuing and animation is handled in the turn-based battle system with the ATB gauges. What can happen is you can end up queuing up your characters, like their ATB gauges will fill you'll start queuing them up. While you're queuing up your characters, turn order can end up changing or you will think the turn order is going a certain way, but you'll end up getting hit. And then, you know, you really need to heal this character, but you've already used up your cues. Um, or, you know, you have a character that's low on health and you're, you're, you're up, your ATB gauge is full, right? So when your ATB gauge is full and then you pick a command, in my opinion, that command should be executed immediately. But this is like the Q system in this game kind of works like off screen behind the scenes and you don't really get a good idea of the turn order to me, to me. So what happens is I have a character that's low on health. Oh, well, that's fine because my white mage has a full ATB bar. So I choose heal on this character. And then I think I'm gonna go next because I just picked my action, but no, two more enemies go first they kill this guy and now i'm casting heal on a dead body instead of using a phoenix down that was happening so much to me that i got frustrated and i'm using the mogiri mod for this playthrough on pc which is basically just enhancing the graphics but it also gives you some accessibility options one of them is to make the combat like pretty much purely turn-based some people have criticized me for doing that but I felt like it was necessary for me to really enjoy the combat system. And since I've done that, it's really, really helped. Is the battle system on weight or active? I had the battle system, it was terrible on active. And then I had it on weight and weight was better. But since I've gone to pure turn-based, I just, I'm enjoying that more. Now I'm willing to give weight another try, but pure turn-based in Moguri mod has been the most I've enjoyed the combat system for me. Do you know you can keep a character's ATB up for later? Um, I, th I think there's a way to do that, but to me, that still doesn't help me when I need to, I need to be able to visibly see the turn order in this game. That's the biggest issue to me is like, I need to know the turn order when I, when my ATB bar is full and I choose a command, I need to know that that command is going to be executed next. So the problem isn't the ATB bar. The problem is the queuing and I can't see the queuing in this, in this system. I think this is the weakest battle system of any of the Final Fantasy games so far that I've played. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, still not terrible, but it's not good either. Um, like the battle system itself, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give this a 4. A 4 out of 10 battle system. Um, I really don't think it's very good. The fact that so many people choose weight over active, and the fact that even more than that seem to prefer Maguri Mod's uh, turn-based um mod and that there's so many mods to uh change queuing and i mean it just shows that there's a big demand in the community for changes to this battle system so if they do remake nine i do think they need to address the battle system that's just my opinion the skill system man i really liked final fantasy 10's like sphere grids i thought that was great um but the way that it works on this is uh is more i, I think probably more flexible you get gear you get weapons and gear that have skills on it and while you're using that weapon or you know that gear you're basically building up a bar after each battle with your experience and then once that bar is full you've learned that ability you can use the ability while you have the gear equipped but then once you learn the ability you no longer have to have have the gear equipped anymore i think that's okay 
uh so far i've i've liked it i've liked managing the gear it's pretty tedious managing it all because think about it if you've got i think you've got like what what is it chat you've got like four armor pieces and a weapon is that what it is you got something like three or four armor pieces and a weapon and then you can also have an accessory and then each one of those can have you know one two or three skills that so far three is the most i've seen three skills on them that you're learning at once at different rates depending on when you equipped it so you're constantly like managing that you know and i think for people that want to go into the menus as little as possible in a final fantasy game i think that could frustrate some people but it didn't bother me i think that overall like my my first impressions of the game were that like right now this is looking like a really strong probably Mm, eight out of ten seven point five to eight out of ten it's looking like our like we're like what you know 12 we're probably like 15 hours in 14 or 15 hours let me check yeah we're, we're 14 hours so i just hit 14 hours in the game and uh yeah i mean my, my first impressions are really good really good like a strong seven high seven low eight like somewhere around there for sure that that's kind of where it's sitting right now but we still got like so much more to go i think we still got what like 30 hours to go 40 hours to go something like that so we still got a lot to go through but i do like the game and i like the characters um you know the mod really helped me sort out things i didn't like with the battle system i'm enjoying that a lot more um the abilities are cool there's a lot of status effects in the game as long as they don't throw too much of that at me i think i'll be okay uh but the writing is strong characters are strong to me that's the most important things i think the soundtrack is amazing graphics are fine obviously i'm using the mod towns are good um i like the design of towns i think there's a i think there's a real charm to the towns in this game that's really elevated by the soundtrack so uh those are just kind of my thoughts here at the beginning